Fine, fine. Still pleased with yourself about that win, I see. Hey, Javier. Don't forget about all that money out there. Of course not. So tell me, uh, do you ever miss the sea? Always. Every day. Why don't you go back? Ah, I'm too old for that business. Far too old. Once you fought real monsters and got away alive, you head back to land and you count your blessings, sir. Monsters? Monsters. The whales. Whales. Whales are like kittens. You stick them with a harpoon, and you scoop them up in your head home, and you act tough. That's easy. No. Real monsters. You sharks. Sardines. <laughs> Sardines. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Sardines. Any real seagoer will tell you. Boys hunt whales. Men hunt sardines. It's not the size. It's the number. One mistake, and they'll swamp you. I've seen 300-pound men eaten alive. I once saw a Portuguese wrestler crushed by a net that ripped. It's the sheer volume of them. Brutal. Brutal business. You learn a new thing every day. Exactly. Say, did I ever tell you boys that I once thought about going to sea? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the honest truth is that I was in love with the captain's wife, and she, and she was in love with me, and... Well, we were, we were going to sail to Brazil and, and raise cattle. <laughs> well, but, you know, I got drunk. Missed the boat. Hey, I mean, literally missed the boat. Yeah. I, by the time I got to the docks, it was gone. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Yeah. Hi there, Arthur. Hello, gentlemen. Hi there. I reckon I'll take my chances with a sardine over a whale. Ah. Uh. And that is where perception and experience collide. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Yes, yes.